Hi friends, very good morning. Welcome to Anu Academy. Today's class, uh, in our channel, we are going to discuss production technology subject. So in this subject, uh, topic is uh, classification of casting processes coming under melting uh, equipment. Okay. So if you are having any doubts, please post in the comments box. I will give you a reply. If you need any additional information, please post in the comments box. I will give you a reply. If you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel. Please like and share our channel. Okay. Now we will see classification of casting process. Casting in expendable mold, they are used only once. Casting in permanent mold, several castings are used. Okay. Classification based on the purpose of casting. Ingot, uh, slab and billet casting. It is cast into a simple shape suitable for further working and uh, remelt ingots easy to transport and load into the furnaces of secondary manufacturers shape casting and that is the final shape now we will see the casting processes sand casting sand casting okay silica sand is used cheap and sufficiently refractory okay and uh, die casting you can see here die casting pressure is used to inject uh, molten metal into the die cavity and shell molding modification of sand casting phenol formaldehyde or, or uh, urea formaldehyde type as bonding agent for silica sand better surface finish investment casting or lost wax uh, process a wax pattern of the part of the mold is embedded in a fluid ceramic material. Complex sections can be produced. Now centrifugal castings. Castings that have rotational symmetry, long cylinders rotating above its axis of symmetry. Modification of centrifugal castings, two centrifugal casting, semi-centrifugal casting and centrifuging. Okay, no? Right. Now, plaster casting, plaster of uh, Paris is substituted for sand. Slush casting, hollow castings, low melting point alloy can be finished by electroplating and lacquering. Continuous casting, molten metal is poured through a tower nearly 300 meter high into a long mold, eliminates in gods. Now, we will discuss gating design. It is vertical gating, bottom gating, horizontal gating, types of gating. Simple vertical gating, velocity of the liquid metal, Vg equal to V3 equal to root 2G HT. Time taken to fill up the mold is Tf equal to V by Ag V3. Okay. And uh, Ag is the area of cross section of the gate, V is volume of mold. Okay. Now for bottom gating Vg equal to V3 is equal to root 2G uh, into HT minus H. HT is equal to H plus Vg square by 2G. So Tf equal to Ag by uh, Am root 2 by G into root HT minus root HT minus HM. The common items employed in a gating design to prevent impurities in the casting are as follows. Pouring basing reduces eroding force. Strainer a ceramic strainer in the sprue removes uh, draws splash core reduces the eroding of the liquid metal stream skim bob prevent heavier and lighter impurities from entering the mold now gating system okay definitely you will get a question regarding this gating system a non pressurized gating system the number um, pressure in the metal flow reduce turbulence so that is 1 is to 3 is to 3 or 1 is to 2 is to 4 this is the gating system so which reduces the turbulence a pressurized gating system more turbulence 1 is to 2 is to 1 or 4 is to 8 is to 3 okay now freezing point uh, liquid turns into solid when its temperature is lower below its freezing point heat uh, flows from the hot portions to the colder portions of the system according to the relation now next uh, Rate of heat flow per unit area is Q by A is equal to minus K into dot T by dot X kilojoules per hour meter square. K is thermal conductivity is kilojoule per hour 
meter Kelvin and dou T by dou X is thermal gradient in units of temperature T and distance X. Now solidification right. So this is the solidification you can see X and uh, rho to T X equal to K1 X equal to K1 rho T solidification time time of complete solidification will be proportional to the square of their linear dimensions. Okay. Solidification time alpha uh, volume by surface area square so T S equal K into D by A square where K is a constant that is solidification factor and is given by K is equal to Pm root pi alpha into L plus Em into theta P minus theta F by 2K into theta F minus theta naught whole square. So Pm and P is density of metal and molten metal rho. Alpha is thermal diffusivity of mold K by Pc. L is latent heat of heat of liquid metal. Cm and C is specific heat of mold material and molten metal material. Theta P is temperature at which liquid metal